So have you all seen that new movie, new Ghostbusters movie? I think it was really good. And there was this whistle in there that I ended up finding on Thingiverse and properly printed that was just kind of a cool little thing. After I finished this, actually it was about the time I was finished painting it, I found that Adam Savage actually made all of those, which makes this even cooler. But then I found out that he intended for them to be stone, and I made mine look like they were carved out of wood. But, it's fine. Anyway, Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's how you make a sequel. That's how you can tell that the people who made the sequel loved the original movies, knew how to treat uh, deaths in real life, knew how to make a sequel, to have a plan. Yes, I'm kind of throwing shade at the Star Wars sequels. They weren't great. They've went on record and said they didn't have a plan. Force Awakens was okay. We've kind of all seen that movie before. But it's obvious they did not have an overall overarching plan. Did they learn nothing from Marvel? I mean, Marvel's been taking this whole let's have a 20, 30 year plan and stitch all our movies together. Anyway, this is a 3D printed. Uh, what I use there, the maroon red stuff, is just some quick fill body filler. I tried to get rid of the seam there, and I only used a version of this print that had a seam because it was, well, it was easier to print. In the end, it was going to take way too long to get rid of the seam altogether, and this is where I decided, well, these things are probably carved out of wood anyway. I took a quick shot of Kona paint, just a Kona spray paint, and then did my typical uh, wet brush or wet, well, a combination of wet brush and dry brush, uh, really watered down paint. Paint it on, wipe it off, etc. This is the dry brush part. But I tried some new techniques with these that I hadn't done before, which was kind of fun. Um, obviously I like tiki's and things like that, so making these wood and the whole color palette was pretty pretty normal for me. Now, as I said before, Adam Savage originally made these for the production, which I found out later, and his were a lot, I'd say yellower, looked more like maybe made out of granite or some sort of stone. But I had already gotten this far. So one of the things I did notice once I watched his video is that he uses oil paints a lot, which I haven't used, and most of the time I use acrylic paints. So I tried some of the oil paint here, and of course I did it off camera because whatever and it doesn't dry as fast but it actually does give a sheen that you can't get out of the acrylic paint the other thing I saw him do is use some sort of specialized prop dust and well I can't remember what they call it but it, apparently it's used on stage stuff I didn't even know where to find it but what I did have was this old rag full of dried paint and dust and everything else that I used to clean up the counter. So wherever the oil paint was wet, I just hit it with this. And it turned out pretty well and gave a whole different dimension to the prop that I haven't been able to use before. So in just a second here, you'll see all that dust and that's a completely different layer. So are they accurate to the screen? No. Are they cool? Yeah. Were they fun? Yeah. And they make a really wicked sound. They actually work. Um, had fun. The Ghostbusters movie is awesome. Hope you liked it. See you next time. <coughs> See? I told you it worked. Usually scares the crap out of anybody in the house when I do that. See you later.